I have a team on the brink of winning a playoff series here, Joe. How often do you think that's gonna happen? Why should you care? Now, here's some stuff I've ordered for the team. It should be at the bus terminal in two hours. And? And I need you to pick it up for me. I'm on a flight at three. Well, change it. In fact, cancel it. I need you here all week. You know, Brad, I'm not supposed to be here. This isn't my job. Okay, I'm gonna motivate you here, Joe, all right? You don't have a job. No, what you have is one long and brilliant opportunity to observe a master at the top of his game. That makes you a very lucky guy, so you should get to the bus terminal. Feel good about your life, all right? There you go. There he is. Man of the hour. Coach Gorman himself. How you feeling? You getting, uh, you getting psyched? Mildly excited? Vaguely aware of your surroundings? <laughs> okay, look. We both know these boys are playing so far over their heads, their noses are bleeding, all right? We know this. Philly is coming on strong, and these boys need support, analysis, strategy. They're craving leadership. You giving them that? Gorman? See this? Yeah, I know. It's you and Ray. You were like brothers. You've told me. I was close to him, too, you know? So do you know what it means for me and for this team to be in the playoffs without Ray Malone? No, I can't say that I do, but then you don't know what it's like to be in the playoffs under any circumstances, do you, Lloyd? Hey. You want to honor Ray's memory? And is that what you want? Then all you have to do, Lloyd, is win. You look pleased with yourself, more than usual, I mean. I have the right to be. I just motivated the team's coach to a new frame of mind. Hello out there, we're on the air. It's hockey night tonight. Tension grows, the whistle blows, and the puck goes down the ice. The goalie jumps and the players bump and the fans all go insane. Someone roars, Bobby scores at the good old hockey game. Oh, the good old hockey game is the best game you can name. And the best game you can name is the good old hockey game. With the final flick of a hockey stick in one jacket. Adelante. Um, I can see you're busy dancing. The bossa nova. It's all in the swivel. This used to drive my Jenny wild. I can see why. Listen, Duff, I'm worried about the Houston deal. There's nothing like the dance of love to ease your worries. Come on, Coco, don't be a lump. Give it a shot. <laughs> Listen, Duff, since Parker got us in the playoffs, Roger Travis is losing interest. Tough. Did you ever hear the Dawson City Seven? No. Team of miners from the Yukon came down to Ottawa to challenge for the cup, 1906, I think. Anyway, they took a drubbing. And? They came to me in a dream last night. Said I should go to the dentist twice a year and eat plenty of roughage. And what do you make of that? Duff, what do you want me to do about the Houston deal? Roger Travis is cooling off. Well, heat him up. Coco, that's what I pay you for, isn't it? <laughs> I'll let you know how it goes. And enjoy yourself a little more. I know what. Take Houston out for a bit of bossa nova down at the Flamingo Ballroom. They tore it down 20 years ago, Duff. They did? 20 years. That'll make it around when Don Messer died. What a brutal year that was. Morning, the day between games. Players arrive as individuals, each with their own problems, their own dreams. And then slowly, these individuals become the team. I'm telling you, Simsi, you should let me put your bonus into the software company. It's up 9% in two weeks. Talk to Ray Ann, Shaky. <clears throat> she handles all the money. If we go to the second round, uh, I could give her a call. 
Simpson. Yeah. Could I give Rihanna a call? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that'd be great. Thank you. Morning, guys. Well, here we are. Poised on the brink of greatness, right? Excuse me. But now is not the time to rest on our laurels, all right? Now is the time to fuel the fire of achievement. No more caffeine, no more sugar. These are toxins. They will drain your vital energy. From now on, it's amino acid shakes, concentrated protein bars. First we purify, then we focus. But I thought you said we had to see, then be. Yeah, we still have to see, then be, Todd, but after we focus. Can't see properly in until you focus. OK. So do we purify first or, or, or what? <laughs> Todd, I'm just going to move on to strategy, OK? Now, Philly came on strong in the third period of that last game because they're using Zablocki on Simpson. Now, Simpson's our star. Got to get him on the ice, get the puck to him as much as possible. But to facilitate this, I have worked out some line changes, Joe, to keep Zablocki away from Simpson. Now, I've spoken to the coach about this. He thinks it's He a thinks that you're full of it. Now, get out of my dressing room. Sorry, I can't do that, coach. I'm a, I'm a hands-on GM. Yeah, well, how about this? You keep your hands off my team, and I'll keep my hands off you. Exactly. You see this? This is what I mean. This is precisely the attitude I'm talking about if we want to take Philly, OK? We'll talk about strategy later. Remember, guys, purify, then focus. All right, guys, let's get out on the ice. OK, coach. Hey, what's happening with Mickey Dubois here? He wants to talk to you in person. Well, that's great, then. Let's fly him up here. I won't. It's too dangerous. Oh, oh, Joe, you're worried. No, I'm very worried. Oh, OK, you're very worried. How about this whole blind trust, the conflict of interest. You can't run a hockey team, be a sports agent at the same time. It too, happens right? to be illegal. <laughs> illegal. Now, you call yourself an agent. What? Okay. Joe. Joseph? OK, you know what? I think. You're taking this thing way too serious. Yes, I have a gift for running a hockey club. I, I'm not going to argue with you on that. But the truth is, it's all temporary. Soon, you and I, we're going to be back in Manhattan, and I am going to be making your life hell there. I promise. OK? OK. You OK? I'm all right. OK. Here's some stuff I need you to pick up for me. What's this? Just some stuff. You're driving. It's a couple of shirts, but Joe, they're important shirts. A sports psychologist who picks up your dry cleaning. The men's theories are cutting edge. Self-image is the key, therefore clothes are very important. I look forward to my results there. Thank you, Mr. Harriman. Oh, a wonderful guy. An inspiration, oh my god. You know, he's got the whole team hopping. Really? That's great. I'm sure Roger Travis will be thrilled to hear that. I'm meeting with him today. Roger's in from Houston? Yeah. Hey, I should be there for that. Why, to chaperone? <laughs> no, he's a very tough negotiator, all right? If he whittles you down on the price, my finder's fee shrinks to zip. Well, you might have thought of that before you agreed to be general manager. Well, what is it with everybody around here? Do the words short-term maneuver mean nothing anymore? Listen. First and foremost, all right, I am an agent, OK? I am married to it. This whole, you know, taking care of the team in the meantime, that's just uh... An affair? Yeah, right, exactly, an affair. Well, your little fling has the whole town aroused. And uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the league won't move a popular franchise. I don't know franchise. if I've mentioned this, but I can handle the league. Oh, that's great. I'm sure Bud will be very happy to hear that. Bud? Yeah, that's what Roger's friends call him. <laughs> Listen. Roger doesn't have any, he doesn't have any friends, all right? He has victims in waiting. Well, never mind. Hey, you're a big girl. Just don't let him uh, talk you on to his uh, private jet. Oh, he has a jet? There are letters to Penthouse regarding the jet. <laughs> what do you mean you want out of the deal? Let's not panic, Miss Blessed. I'm not out yet. But I am revving up my engines for a fast escape. You see, here's the deal. I'm a simple guy. I like simple situations. Brett Parker is what I call a complication. You see, I cannot fathom why an agent who's moving a hockey team from Hamilton to Houston would suddenly turn around and become that team's GM. It just smells like bad trout to me. You know what I mean? Yes, I do, and I feel the same way. He is a complication, but I'm used to those. I don't just run this hockey team for Mr. McArdle. You know, I handle all of his businesses, mostly in the heavy steel industry, compared to ore prices or freight rates or the unions. Parker's a minor inconvenience. <laughs> Inconveniences set my mind to other possibilities, theater chains, amusement parks, dinner with you. And would this dinner involve taking your jet? Well, it might, yes. It depends on where we eat, of course. Of course. <laughs> Is this a date? No. 
No, I'm sorry. I was just having a little fun with myself. Uh, well, not as much fun as you could have with me. <laughs> You'd be surprised. What if I counter-offered, Mr. Travis? Uh, call me Bud. Stay in town a day or two. Come to a game. Uh, no, I can't. What if I said I could get rid of the complications? You get rid of Parker, I'd be listening. So, this is community service. Yep, cleaning up Burlington Bay. Yeah. I don't know, I kind of had this image of, uh, I don't know, playing basketball with wayward teens. Or... Mm, like me? Yeah. No, no. No, not like you. No, much worse than you. No, wayward. Look, the thing is, Shell. Please don't call me Shell. All right. No, I was just going to say that the thing is, you know, w when you think about it, you know, what is it that we're actually doing here? Punishing me for embezzling money. Yeah, OK. You know, we could look at it like that. But, you know, we could also look at it like an opportunity, you know, for us to uh, spend some. Quality time? Yeah, quality time together. Exactly. Right, that, that phrase that's uh, used to con kids into thinking that they're having more fun than if they had real parents. Yeah, yeah. Quality time. Look, I understand you have some uh, some anger issues with me. <laughs> really? But, you know, I, I'm willing to bet money that w once you get to know me, you know, that you're going to, you'll like me. 50 bucks, and I'll give you odds. Okay, you're on. Okay. Okay. I already said okay. So? So you always have to have the last word. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No. Exactly. I'll be quiet. Good. Fine. 